Iran vows Muslims will take revenge if Trump is not put on trial. On January 3rd, Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi said that if the former president, the former U.S. President Donald Trump does not face trial for the assassination of General Qasem Soleimani, then, quote, the hand of revenge will come out of the Ummah, or like meaning like the Muslim nation's sleeve. Raisi demanded the formation of a fair court in which Trump and all other American officials are to be sentenced and punished. He also called for... Um, the Islamic law of retribution, which, uh, considering that Qasem Soleimani was assassinated, and I'm pretty sure by retribution that would lead to Trump's assassination. <laughs> um, the assassination of the general occurred during a drone strike in 2020 in response to rocket attacks that killed American military service members and their Iraqi allies. During the second death anniversary of the general, thousands in Baghdad demonstrated chanting death to America. Even though the U.S. coalition against ISIL was announced to cease in December, there are still uh, uh, 2,500 U.S. troops remaining in Iraq. The leader of the pro-Iran coalition group, Hadi al-Imeri, uh, stated, quote, We will not accept anything less than full withdrawal as revenge for the blood of our martyrs. So this isn't exactly um, religion or secular related, but on this channel really it just gave me an excuse to no, talk about this with Armageddon. it is religion well. related it's muslims will take revenge yeah he's saying muslims will it's... take our martyrs revenge okay so it is religion related so i don't know what you're saying um but yeah i mean i kind of agree with the fact that trump should be on trial but the idea that you're hopeful that he could be shows how fucking naive and stupid you are right like the fact that, that you think that's going to happen like if if he's not on trial like are you suggesting that there's a chance like what are you for this okay so yes trump should be on trial in a better world he would be on trial but not for this <laughs> this is literally one of the only few things that he did right okay he should be in trial for the war crimes in yemen that's a good one that he should be in trial for um and the United States is not a sign like is not a signatory to the ICC, so I don't know what trial. Which trial are you talking about, Racy? Which trial? Like, how do you think this is going to happen? Like, how? Wh what are you imagining? Like, like if Trump is not on trial, who's going to put him on trial? Like, are you are you trying to signal to the world that you have no idea how anything works geopolitically? Like, you're this naive and this uneducated. Is that what you're trying to signal to the world? Because congratulations. You can you you're successful at that. Okay, you you managed to convince us that you you are you're an idiot. You're an idiot. But again, yeah, there's Trump did everything wrong except three things, and this is one of those three things. Wait, three things? Um Qasim Soleimani, um the Abrahamic Accord, um what was the other thing? The 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 the, the, the jab the the speed at which they got the yeah it was like operation time warp or something time vortex what time warps warp something like operation speeding something. up the research for getting the jab the jab yes that yeah. was like good as well but that's it everything else he did was a disaster and a lot of what he did were war crimes okay um so yes he should you know in a in a in a in a just world he would be on trial um, but okay, so apparently Kyle Kalinske did a oh, warp speed. Thank you, warp speed. Yeah, warp speed. Warp speed was really good. We could th thank the tr Trump administration for that. Okay, see you guys, we're not being we're not being dogmatic. Um, we're not like if we just because we hate Trump, we're not going to be completely deny when he did something good but yeah one of the best things he did was assassinating Qasem Soleimani okay it was the best the best um, non-accelerating response you could have got given to the attack on the embassy in Baghdad like first of all you had to have a response there was an attack on U.S. soil okay um and you had to come up with a response that was ex ex very strong, very strong. That was a that was an attack on U.S. or on U.S. personnel. Okay, um, 
the, nothing like that has happened since like the Iranians uh, took hostage Americans in in the embassy in Tehran, right? That was like like they were it was a it was a giant attack on in, in cap you know in capturing the embassy. They were inside, okay. Um, they, if you didn't respond, like, and there were many attacks before it that they had gone before but without without a strong response, and the U.S. was looking pathetically weak. The fact that there could be this many direct attacks at, at U.S. soldiers, like, but the, the reason why there was no response is because they didn't want to enter a war. But you cannot have an, an, another response to that, and so you. If you if you wanted to come up with a response that was extremely strong, and yet was not a direct attack on Iranian soil, something that would require an escalation, something that was really painful, really painful to show you that U.S. has a can bite back. It's not just like a paper tiger. Like you can't just attack its embassy without paying a heavy price. But a heavy price would require like attacking them on Iranian soil, and that could have escalated the war. This was a perfect opportunity. Qasem Soleimani was outside Iran's border, and he, and he was a terrorist. He was, I should say, he was like, he and he does he did deserve to die. And him dying did remove a lot of horrible activity in Iraq, in Syria, in Afghanistan. Like he was a, he he was a monster. Okay. And him being outside of Iran's border and removing him was the perfect way to give a strong response without without escalating, esca causing escalation into a war. That was you could not have found a better uh, response to what happened. Okay, I can't think of anything better you could have done. And guess what? The response was not escalation. The response was United States attacking um, anal Assad bases the united united states base in iraq while warning america to remove their soldiers because they didn't want the war to escalate so the calculations were correct people were saying world war three world war three this was not a retaliation that would have made sense for iran to cause a war it was a perfect it was a perfect response it was a perfect response um and i yeah and i think they they, they need to be congratulated for that yeah but go on you, you have something you want to share? Okay, so I just thought this was interesting. On the same day that Raisi gave this speech, the um, English newspaper, uh, the English-Israeli newspaper, the Jerusalem Post, their website was hacked, and their website was just made to show this image. Mm -hmm. Which, for those who aren't, this is clearly in reference to Gossam, uh, Soleimani's assassination. So, because it here you see this ring, that is this ring that is he's famous for wearing. And it is like one of the few things that actually survived like his assassination. It's like this missile coming out of this ring. And then this is supposed to be a, um, uh, a nuclear research facility in Israel. And then it says, we are close to you where you do not think about it. And it says that in English and Hebrew, I have, I have no idea what this is supposed to mean. We are close to you where you do not think about it. Basically, we're coming for you in place. Like we are hiding in places that you cannot see. Like we are. I mean, I assume like, that's what it means. But the English is so poor. <laughs> it, the English is really bad. But it's it's very close to a Quranic verse where where God says we're closer to you than your jugular vein, right? Like mm. we are basically like basically we have spies everywhere, and we're like close to sensitive spots. He's saying it's saying it like you would think that they when they're before releasing this, they would have a proofreader and they would have better English before like embarrassing themselves like this. But apparently, apparently they can't even get that right, right? Um, like honestly, like you look at how pathetic we are. We can't even get this right. Okay, oh my god, look at Israel's like, <laughs> look at like Israel's Persian Twitter account. Their Persian is Israel's Persian Twitter account. Their their Persian is perfect. They, they, their Persian is way better than me. Okay, and not only the Persian, not only the Persian on Israel's Twitter Persian Twitter account is perfect. They are referring to like very specific sayings in Persian and poetry. Like they're like who's in like culturally of accurate too. Culture, yeah, no, it's not just good at Persian. They're very like aware of like very specific cultural like details in Iran. Like who's like whoever's whoever is managing Israel's Persian Twitter account, 
they need a raise. <laughs> like, they need Armin's like, can I have your job? No. <laughs> No, honestly, I can't do it. Whoever's doing that, their 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 awareness of Persian culture and like history is way beyond me. Like, good job, whoever whoever's doing that. If you're watching, good job. Um, no, but okay. So one thing you have to understand what's happening here is that Iran is under Iran's government is under extreme pressure for revenge by mm -hmm. pro Soleimani people, and they the mistake that the government did was they promised them all sorts of revenge they promised them so much revenge because for killing Qasem Soleimani and people were like yes yes revenge 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 and none of it came right and they're like like not a single American has been killed in response to the like they, they promised like the the fall of the U.S. empire they're like we're gonna they're gonna go out of and they keep escalating they keep promising more revenge, more and more revenge beyond what they like. They are competing against each other, uh, like the, the officials about how big of a revenge that they're promising. Right. But the, what they actually do is so insignificant. So they have to like at every anniversary, people remember the promises they made over what kind of revenge that they're going to take. So they're like, oh, my God, we need to do something. So they send some missiles and it doesn't kill anybody and they make posters. And they're like, look, we are like being very aggressive against Americans. But then the the the, the people that were actually looking forward to a revenge, they're like, they're getting even more angry. So this is like, there's an internal fight within the radicals in Iran. That why is our government not actually taking a serious revenge? Right? They're like, you're just making posters. What happened to the actual revenge that you promised us? Let me actually show you what they, what. <laughs> let me show you one some, some one of the promises. Like actually, I, did you see one of the memories I shared? in the uh, anniversary of Soleimani's death on my, no. on my Facebook wall. Oh my God. Okay. Let me show you this. This is like, they are fantasizing about the things that they're going to do. Hold on. Let me actually, my Facebook. Well, the closest they could come was like firing off a few missiles, but then they told Americans that they were coming ahead of time so that they could clear their bases off. Cause they're not act. They don't actually want that smoke. Oh True, my but God. <laughs> okay, that is what they can do. They can make posters in real life. But this, this is their fantasy. <laughs> is that so, like Angel Soleimani's that, like raining that's hellfire? Angel on, on the US Capitol. That's Soleimani coming back as an angel <laughs> with, uh, with um, um, uh, Dr. Mahandes, the other person that was with him when he was assassinated, right, right back. And these are other angels, right? So I actually, let me read my caption because I think I explained it very well. I said, Iranian propaganda art. Qasem Soleimani returns from heaven, unleashing havoc on Washington, on Washington D.C. while American soldiers run away in fear. <laughs> so this is what they want, okay? But this is what they can do <laughs> they can make posters <laughs> so you can see how far the fantasy is from reality <laughs> i'm gonna i got to be honest this is better than a lot of propaganda art i've seen from them yeah. before I like think, this is yeah. actually a pretty well-drawn cartoon um so right. uh oh secular rights is saying we should do some um blasphemous art of this one no i mean not, most people will not get it so it wouldn't make sense yeah it's a little niche well yeah oh yeah so yeah oh yeah he, most of our he, audience wow. nobara has their full name yeah so this one the first angel here is qasim Soleimani, and you can see that the second angel is abu mehdi al mahandas yes and um, some comments doctor. from the live chat rudrush is saying armin you got the kyle kluinski video i sent right so um rudrush was asking us to talk about this see. Kyle Kluinski video where he talks about um, this recent call for revenge for Miran. And where did yeah, you we both it? watched this video. You sent it to me recently. Not... So I know you okay, said, I sent you... it. To, I sent it to you because I went and found it, but I'm trying to see if we're getting emails from our, because I don't know. He sent it to email. me specifically and I did get his email. Oh, okay. Okay. You did. You did. Okay. Cool. Um, but do you think you're going to do a full stream on that? Because I think you, yes. Would... Be, it would be beautiful a, to see you do a that, full stream on that. I will do a full stream about this topic um, using the Kyle vid, uh, Kyle, Kulinski video. Like I'm going to review like him. Him his I, it was his takes are very bad at this. Okay, so I'm going to be criticizing him 
on the Secular Jihadist show, uh, channel, right? So if you guys want to see me going into more details about this specific thing, this specific news item that we're talking about here, basically, uh, about this, um, I'm going to spend an, more than an hour going over the details using the Kyle Kolinsky video. So subscribe to Secular Jihadist, and that's where I'm going to do the live stream. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, um, another the comment from the live chat. Music guy is saying, meanwhile, they are dead silent on the passenger plane they shot down the other year. So for those mm -hmm. who don't know, and this is very important that we mention this, shortly after the assassination of Soleimani, um, Iranian forces shot down an international passenger plane that was flying from uh, between uh, Tehran and Kiev, Ukraine and killed almost a hundred civilians. I don't know how this happened, but it they was because of somehow, the spice of thing. Well, yeah, they somehow thought that this, this airplane was a threat and they killed this plane full of civilians, women, children, and mm. there's been an utter failure from the government to actually hold themselves accountable for this. Um, and it actually screwed up their own ability to do nationalist propaganda over the death of Soleimani because there were massive protests, you know, in support of Soleimani after the assassination that we saw. You know, I remember Armin talking about like, I've seen this many people on the street is crazy. And then so and they could have really ridden that wave. But so shortly afterwards, they murdered so many people, almost 200 they people. And, the and so then that was swiftly crushed. Mm. And then so many people were coming out in support of this, this mm. passenger plane that was killed. Um, so they keep what they want to keep acting like United, oh, United States killed like Qasem Soleimani, but they like United States doesn't kill as many Iranians as the Iranian government ever. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't even add up, you know, like the main curse to the Iranian people is the Iranian government. They literally shoot civilians on planes out of the sky so yeah yeah redress is saying after yeah. the ukrainian plane was shot all the honeymoon period went away co completely By the way, good way of putting it sorry i interrupted you you were trying to make a point i apologize I oh no but i just call. wanted to talk about that because um the 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 anniversary of this plane being shot down is approaching on the 11th. And there are a lot of people, including Babak of the Persian channel, the Persian Atheist Republic channel, who are doing a lot to commemorate this event and to hold the anniversary for this event and to also raise international awareness about um, PS752 being shot down to try to hold the government accountable. Um, and then Puya is saying, Qasem Soleimani's daughter also made a speech against the U.S. while holding an iPhone. I saw I, this, and she was will, roasted online okay, mercis, mercilessly for I holding am the going nicest, to cover fanciest this. iPhone. Yes, I'm going to cover this on the Secular Shahadis um, channel as well. Make sure you subscribe. I'm going to go and show you the picture and everything. That was that was so cringe. Anyways. People yeah, were yeah, roasted. She, they're like, death to America? Look at what you're holding, stupid. <laughs> Yeah, like what well, she could have used the Samsung just to not be such a hip hypocrite, like deaf to America, deaf to America, you're while holding an iPhone, like just like uh, the nicest, most expensive, iPhone. yeah, the most expensive, yeah, the, the latest, yeah, she had to have the latest. Well, um, I also, she's also promoting, she, she, she's also promoting multi, you know, anyways, Pyramid she's schemes? trying to send, no, 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 yeah, I, I'll, I'll talk about that on secular job, okay, anyways, next one. Um, Nobara is saying Iran's juggernaut in Iraq and the Levant seems to have, wait, uh, reduced okay. post Soleimani, right? Or is it just me? Please enlighten me. So Armin, what do you say? Oh yeah. Wait, Iran's juggernaut in Iraq and the Levant seems to have reduced. Oh my God. Significantly. This has been a major blow to them. They, their level of control has been so weakened, which actually shows how powerful Qasem Soleimani was when it comes to being able to maintain such a control um like right now the, even the even the pro-iranian militia in iraq they're fighting against each other they're fighting against each other like Qasem Soleimani was like holding all of this in line like Qasem Soleimani somehow managed to get the uh, kurdish uprising to stop all of a sudden in iraq he has like the level of coordination and connections and respect that he had all over these areas in all the way from afghanistan to um to the levant like it was it ridiculous like this was they this is why i'm saying like 
that assassinating Qasem Soleimani was the best thing that um, you know they could have done, right? Like they have taught with just removing one person, they have managed to save a whole multiple different nations from the grip of the Islamic Republic of Iran. I don't know how this man did it, but like he was really good at what he did. So it was good that he they took him they took him out. Yeah. Yeah. Did somebody saying Khalsa saying just one man ensured so much power? Yeah, he was like I don't I don't know what it was about him. He was he had this charismatic a lot of people were more loyal to him than the Islamic Republic of Iran. So then I don't know if you know this. Some people, some people within the Islamic Republic, some higher ups were actually happy that he was taken out. I remember because, you talking about this. Because he was so influential and he was becoming so powerful, he was like this messiah. Like the people like looked at him as this like force, and they had so much respect for him. And he would just get people to stop fighting, and he would you people. Like you had Sunnis and sometimes Christians joining because they just wanted to be un fighting under this man's banner. Like he was becoming this like holy thing. Um, but, uh, and and some people within the Islamic Republic of Iran thought that he's becoming too powerful uh, and they saw him as a threat. So some people like, some people within the Islamic Republic of Iran, some people, some people within the government are like, oh my God, thank God that he was taken out because it's like a, they couldn't question they, 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 one of the main people that actually questioned him was this uh, the uh, foreign minister Zarif, like the, to show him that he's like a, he's a he was acting within the interest of the Russians, um, and he oh, would like right, you know, and he paid a huge price for that, for saying those things, right? Like this man has now become like a religious figure. Oh, I'm gonna show you by the way on the secular jihadist show. Um, people are his his grave um the dust from the, the the earth from his grave is becoming a holy thing like people are passing his the yeah like he's becoming a holy he, he's becoming a holy like he he's this isn't elevated. Kermla? what the fuck? <laughs> no no like no people are literally like taking the the earth from his grave and passing it out as like as as relic right um also another thing is that his statue was raised in a city recently. I'm going to also show you this on, on secular judges uh, to celebrate him, which was just shirk, by the way. Um, and they raised the statue in the morning and it was burned in the afternoon by nighttime. It didn't survive one day. Iranians burned it. Okay. Iranians Shut burned the. Rest of it. Yeah. And the next day, people came in protest in protest against the people who burned it and they were crying and they were yelling that it, they wish it was them that was burned as, instead of the statue they're not saying that they they, they saw the statue of Qasem Soleimani so holy they weren't crying and saying like they wish they, they, they were died instead of Qasem Soleimani they were saying that they wish their body was burned instead of the statue that's what they were crying about. And they were saying every person here today wishes that it was their body that was burned instead of the statue. I can't anyway. wait for the secular jihadist episode. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Puya is saying he was really good at what he did, and what he did wasn't very nice. No, he's responsible for, for the death of ch He's a child. He was a child murderer. Like, he was like a war criminal. Anyways, people are yelling, sure. Like, you're, you guys are proper Sunnis. I'm glad that you guys in the live chat are properly calling the, sh the shirk within the Shia. If if there was Wahhabis here, they would be proud of you to show to see how shirky these Shia these <laughs> these Shias are. Yeah, I have we have raised a Wahhabi community here. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm so proud of you guys. <laughs> oh my god! Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.